Hi everybody, it's been a while. So, here goes. Oh. Welcome to the Fintry Glen, as I like to call it. But there is a waterfall here that um, it's called the Loop of Fintry. Now, I've done this photograph two years ago, but I want to come back here and do it when there's a good bit of sunshine. And I don't know if you can make that out. Look at that. That's where we're off to today. Let's go. And I hope you can hear me over the noise of this waterfall. But let me hear in your comments below what you think of this location. This is truly a gem of a location. Anyone who chase, chases waterfalls that follows me on my YouTube page or my Instagram, get ever up in Scotland, come and visit the Loop of Fintry. It's literally 20 minutes from Glasgow and the valley looks right through until the Northwest Highlands, starting in Loch Lomond. Um, I've done a couple of shots here and I've done a five image panoramic that I want to stick together because I want you to get as much of the foreground in as well as the sky to have an even balance um, and overall I'm quite happy with what I've got with looking on the back of the camera as we all know that can look completely different when you get it back in the post but I've just taken a shot in landscape just there and yeah it's, um, it's, it's, it's sweet I really really like it and this location I am definitely coming back to for sunset the sun, the sun is going to set directly in the middle of this valley and the, if you get golden light wow you're on to a winner so I'll fire up some of the photographs for you to see from what I've done here but just now I'll pop up a photo from my last visit which was two years ago from here and I hope you like it to mention guys um, when I was taking the, the photograph there the settings and stuff like that, that I was using now for the landscape image where I shot it in landscape that was shot at f11 and it was 0.8 of a second exposure using uh, an 8 grad so these really really help control the harsh midday light as it is just now um, and it also lets you control the water and lets you give that milky effect but you don't want to go any more than 0.8 of a second personally that's what I think because you lose detail in the water as it's flowing over so if you keep it at 0.8 or, 0.8 or below then you should come out with a really nice detailed image but this all depends on how fast the water is flowing etc and in my case this photograph the water is flowing pretty fast so I played about with exposures tried to calculate it in my head and tried to come up with the best exposure time and for me it bounced in at 8.8 .8 of a second which is pretty normal for me when I'm doing long exposures with waterfalls etc so yeah that was the settings for that and the panoramic image that I took five consecutive images that was shot at f16 and again that was 0.8 of a second and i'll stitch these together in lightroom and show you the final outcome so thanks very much guys and i'm going to start walking out of this amazing location 